This is one of the videos in the file permissions and user group management videos series on uh, Linux and Unix. And this particular video is about sudo, sudo access and wheel, and the wheel group. So check that out, and if um, there's the other videos, so be sure to check those out as well. All right, let's get into it. So it's not very good to run around your file system as a root, and sometimes you need a root access. So maybe when you're installing something or doing anything else important, you may need to use the sudo command to do something. And if the user that you have does not have sudo access, you won't be able to do it. So I've changed over to this bunny account that does not have sudo access. So if we do ls, we can see the bunny's account. But let's go ahead and try doing sudo ls. We'll enter our password. And we'll get bunny is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. And so basically this user account needs to have permission to use a sudo and act as root. So the only the way to do that is using the vysudo command. So vysudo opens up the slash etsy slash sudoers file. And that um, that's a really important file, so you need to use a special editor called Visudo to do that. And um, it basically what it does is it checks the um, it checks for errors. So if you have any errors at all on the uh, file, it will let you know that there's an error and that you should that you need to fix it. Um, because if you don't fix it, then you may have um, really bad problems. Like you won't be able to access sudo or you might not be able to boot your system. Uh, it could be bad. So you want to make sure that you do it correctly. And uh, I don't actually know if it'll become unbootable, but uh, I've never tried. So um, yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and do sudo vice sudo to take a look at this file. And so this is the sudoers file. And Basically, what will happen is it sets a certain group to have access to sudo. So right here, uh, root can do anything, basically. Uh, percent admin means the group admin has uh, basically all access. And so, and then wheel is another group, but it's commented with this uh, with this pound sign. So we won't be able to use wheel until we uncomment this wheel. And there's no need for that because admin, you know, is uncommented. At least not now there's not any point. So basically all we have to do is select or figure out which user or which group will allow or will give a user per pseudo permissions. So right now it's admin because it's uncommented. So I don't need to change anything, but I'm going to change something. I'm going to add a syntax error. I'm just going to put J here. So I'm going to hit Control O for right. And it edited slash Etsy slash shootowers dot temp because it edits this temp file and then it checks for errors. And if it if there's an error, it won't edit the real file. But if there are no errors, then this one will be copied over to the Etsy sudoers file. So go ahead and exit. And it says Etsy sudoers syntax error near line 60. What now? And I forget which command you're supposed to type. I believe it's X, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, so if an error warning pops up, press X to exit or E to re edit the file. So let's go ahead and go back and we'll type X to exit the file without saving. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the sudo's file, the sudoers file. Sudoers. Oops. Sudo. Okay. And you'll see that the admin fi the, uh, the file was not edited. There's no J anywhere. So it protected us from, a, uh, from us not being able to use sudo. So 
but you want to have uh, one of these groups uncommented. So anyway, so admin, so we need to add the user bunny to the group admin to be able to give bunny pseudo access. So let's go ahead and clear. And we'll give the bunny access. And so to add the user to the group, we're going to add bunny to the group admin. admin. Enter the password. Okay, and now we can switch back to bunny. And if we try to run sudo ls, we enter our password, and now it lets us uh, run sudo commands. So uh, that's basically how the sudo file works. And there's a little bit more stuff to it, but this video is getting kind of long. So that's it. Hope you enjoy your day, and hope this was super helpful. Have a good day. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I hope this was super helpful. Uh, go ahead and check out my website, truthseekers.io, and check out all of the stuff that we have on there. I'm trying to build a community of programmers and technology enthusiasts, so check out what we have. See if you can uh, solve some of our programming challenges and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Have a good day.